Good evening. Good evening. Please stand. <clears throat> As for me, in justice I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. As we begin Mass for the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time, we will sing our gathering song for the beauty of the earth. With your spirit. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Father. Sisters and brothers, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind those times in which we have sinned. Depart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth he is to be. strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows, and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. 
For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the good glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the fr first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> On that day of the week, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some of the seeds fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose, it was scorched and it withered for lack of roots. Some seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seeds fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirty-fold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good evening once again, everyone. Good evening, Father. Hopefully right now you all know who I am, so if there's a new face out there that doesn't know who I am, I'm Father Sean, I'm the assistant pastor here, and also at Our Lady of Mount Carmel in Lake Silkworth, where I believe Father Nash should be this evening, as long as he found his way. <laughs> but there's always a problem because his car might just accidentally steer into Maureen, and he might be stuck there eating ice cream for an hour or two. So, for those of you watching from Arlene Mount Carmel, if he's a little late, he'll be there. Um, as you can see, um, the crime scene investigators have finished all of the investigations and all of the crime scene tape is now removed from the church and we are completely transitioned over to white rope, which I think looks so much better than, uh, than the crime scene tape that we've had in the past, since it looks like we're gonna be staying um, in this situation, probably for quite a while to come yet. My friends, 
But when you hear in tonight's gospel passage that large crowds have gathered around Jesus as he's teaching. And it shouldn't be anything new to us because we know that wherever Jesus went and wherever Jesus taught, he gathered large crowds. And you know, the amazing thing about gathering large crowds is the power behind it. And there are so many things that Jesus could have done with this power that he had, right? He could have manipulated these people to do or be whatever he wanted them to do or to be. But he didn't do that. He offered them teachings and allowed them on their very own to make the judgments and decisions that they needed to make. He didn't force anybody to follow him. He didn't force anybody to do anything. He just taught them and allowed them to use the God-given talents that his father gave to them to make the correct judgments. And he does that to each one of us each and every day. Every time we come to Mass, every time we go to confession, every time we pray at home, every time we do whatever we do, it is the God-given graces to us that allows us to make, hopefully, the proper and righteous decision that we are supposed to make, given that grace. We hear about the seeds being planted. Some grew in perfectly good soil, some grew in thorns and were strangled, and some grew a little bit in, in um, shallow earth, but withered when the sun dried them up. And that is exactly what God does to us. God plants these seeds in us with the hope and the desire that they too will grow and blossom into something wonderful, something that follows his ways. Jesus could have manipulated us to be whatever he wanted us to be, but he did not. Jesus died on the cross for us. So we would have the freedom to choose, the freedom to do what he felt was right for us to do. We all are on a journey. And the ultimate goal of the seeds that he has planted within us is to get us to our true home, which is in heaven with him. So let us nourish our seeds and pray to God that they develop fully and allow us that eternal life with him in the kingdom. Let us stand now and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten, not made, not substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Heavenly Father, 
hear the prayers that we are about to offer you. Conditions will be, Lord, hear our prayer. That every believer be fertile soil for the growth of God's word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That every land rejoice in plenty, foreshadowing the harvest to be shared in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer from physical and spiritual hunger be built with healing goodness. Let us pray to the old Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That farmers and all who work the earth receive a just wage and an abundant harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who gather here in community seek ways to reach out in love to those who are alone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That life in all forms be respected in every way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the pastoral planning process and all who are involved be a successful endeavor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of the emergency and medical personnel who are doing those jobs on the front line of society be protected from harm and that their resolve be strengthened. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the prayer requests received by our parish's ministry of prayer be heard and answered according to God's holy will. We pause now to remember our own personal intentions in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in Christ May rest in the peace of our Lord. Betty Jean Grabowski, Pearl Price, Catherine Starkey, Jean Lewis, Joan Marie Raski, Gerald Shemansky, Lucille Sullivan, Bernadine Duda, and especially for our Mass intention, Mr. and Mrs. Clem Blauberg. May they rest in the peace of our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that you answer these prayers as you desire, through Christ our Lord. Amen. As the gifts are presented and prepared at the altar, we will sing, unless a grain of wheat. <laughs>
pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
the passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit, in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Faustina, Saint Pope John XXIII, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Joseph our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. And we remember in a special way this evening, Mr. and Mrs. Clem Roper. Give kind witness to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. And through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a simple sign of peace. And peace to everyone who is viewing at home. Peace be with you.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her young. By your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are they who dwell in your house forever singing your praise. As we come forth to receive the body and blood of Christ in the Holy Eucharist, we will sing, Seed Scattered and Sown. in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen let us pray Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. You know, I have to just tell a quick little story here before we go. But you know, when Deacon Herb comes up for the blessing for the gospel, for me, it's it's so very strange to be able to do that for, for Deacon Herb. Because maybe some of you know, maybe some of you don't know, seven years ago, Herb and I and the rest of our class embarked on the journey to become permanent deacons in, in the Diocese of Scranton. And it was through the, the grace of, of some of the wives that were there, uh, maybe even Herb's wife had a little pushing um, in, involved in that too, 
to um, push me off to the uh, to the seminary. So I'm thankful for them. I'm thankful for answering the call that God has given me. And it is a great pleasure. They used to, when I left the permanent diaconate class and transitioned to seminary, they used to bust me saying, you know, that they were afraid that one day one of them was going to have to work with me. Well, Herb right now is the chosen one that has to work with me. So God bless him that he has to deal with me after all these years. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace, loving God and one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. As we go forth to carry on the mission of the fruits of this Mass, we will sing for the fruits of this creation. for joining us for Mass today. Um, we will also be back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. I will be live streaming the 10 a.m. Mass as well tomorrow. Um, so in the meantime, everybody take care, stay safe, and we'll be seeing you soon. God bless.